Well, it is the first day of gun season and it is cold. It's kind of spitting snow. Um, but I'm sitting off of a bean field. I haven't heard a lot of shooting so far. It's pretty early yet. That wind is ripping. I think I put everything on in my hunting tub this morning and I am shivering. But uh, I got the old shotgun today. Uh, it's my dad's old pump 12 gauge iron sights. I usually bow hunt during gun season, but I've had a pretty awesome bow season with getting my best bow buck. Meh, meh, meh. So I decided on a little change of pace. See if I can get it done. And I can go warm up inside. It is freezing. Jordan texted me and said, that big eight just skirted me. And I was like, well, Jordan's not too far away from me. So I stood up and I was looking in back of me. That big eight's right over here. He came directly to me and then literally under my tree. And of all times, I usually hunt with my bow right under me. And I waited for that broadside shot. I didn't want to take a straight down shot. And he ran and he is dead 10 yards from the tree. <laughs> oh, what an awesome eight pointer. I am a sucker for eight pointers. It is cold. I can't feel my fingers, my toes. Oh, yes. I always like to find my shotgun shell to put it with the mount. I've been shooting these Brannicky KOs with the boxing glove on them. Pretty sure they're like the cheapest ones you can get at farm at home. And I tell you what, that thing puts like a fist through the deer. I mean, a freaking hole. No. Didn't go 20. <laughs> what a toad. Look at this dude. What a pretty deer. Well, started off freezing this morning, not seeing anything, and 
buddy Jordan texted me and said, hey, that big eight that just showed up last night just skirted me. I don't know where he went. And I happened to look up and uh, heard something to my right. And he comes from directly downwind. I don't know how he didn't smell me, but uh, decided to put the bow down and pick up my, my dad's Winchester Model 1300 pump with iron sights. And I'd say it's still on. I have always been a sucker for big eights. And I started freaking out when I seen this frame coming right at the tree. I don't know how he did not smell me. He came down the same path I took to the stand. And I am bucked out. I shot my target buck last week. And I think this deer was moving into his territory. And what a stud eight. Could not be happier. All right, first day, second shotgun season. A little late start, I slept in this morning. I'm bucked out, so I'm gonna go try to get a deer with my pistol. It's about noon, and our food plot blind. And uh, I'm trying to get one with this bad boy. Deer been moving. Be my first deer with a, a pistol, so Let's see what happens. All right, just got all set up. First day, second shotgun season, and uh, brought my pistol today. Never shot a deer with it. It took me like a whole box to get it sighted in at 25 yards. So I, uh, I got six bullets left. Hopefully, I don't need that many. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll get a couple fatty does out here. I got one doe tag left, but uh, my luck now that I'm bucked out is that one of the shooters is gonna come out. But that's how it goes. At least I'll get some good footage. But uh, yep, sitting here in the 360, it's early, might take a nap, but looking to fill this last doe tag. First deer with a pistol. This was my dad's pistol. And I've shot a deer with it, but I've never hit one. And it worked out tonight. This is awesome. Awesome season. I am done. I couldn't be happier. A lot of firsts this year. Biggest buck. Shot my shotgun buck with my dad's old old shotgun and now Got my first deer with his old pistol, so awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, first deer with a pistol, and uh, shot her a little high, but uh, you know, I've been practicing all year, and I'm glad it finally came together. I've never shot a deer with this pistol, this was my dad's pistol, and uh, that buck I shot, shotgun season, that was with his old shotgun, iron sights, and it's been a heck of a year. What a way to cap it off. When it comes to spring or fall food plots, your bedding grasses, your mineral, your access and exit screen, and your upland game mixes, Real World Wildlife Products has you covered. It's not about a fancy bag. It's about actual seed and proven results.